My name is Francisco Amato. I'm Federico Kirschwam. We are from Argentina. It's a little bit south. And well, we'll present the new version of Evil Great. How many of you know Evil Great? I see a few hands. Okay. Hola. Okay. Uh, well, we'll start. Topics. Well, will be different types of implementation of fake, fake updates. Um, the idea of the framework is to inject um, binaries through um, process of updates and get access to a computer is the, the, the idea. So basically, when, when we were working as penetration testers, we are looking for new ways to pound our clients. And uh, while we were working, we saw that many update processes are vulnerable. I think uh, many people over here know that. So basically, this tool helps you doing that. Well, uh, a simple update process is quite uh, all the same. Uh, the process start, uh, go to a website, check, uh, get a, a file with information. This file depends on the, the application. Check if there is a, a new update. If there is a, not, a new update, they, uh, the process download a binary and execute it. So, what is the problem? So, most of the people, at least my mom, trust in every single window that the computer gives it to you. So, we are taking advantage of that, of that trust that gives to the user. Uh, I, I think many of you, when you're working with your machine, you get like, oh, there is a new application for Java, there is a new version for iTunes, right? So, in here, we try to exploit that trust from the user and the application. Evergrade uh, was first coded by Francisco, and we released it in 2008 with 10 models. It's coded in Awesome Pearl uh, for the fans. <laughs> no, not too many yeah. fan Pearl lovers, right? Yeah. Okay. It on. is. It is a open source project. Uh, project. Um, well. This new version, this is the changes of this, this new version is uh, include ICSL, uh, DNS server. Uh, well, we fa fixed a lot of uh, fac a lot of uh, yeah, problems, yeah. fac, uh, and we add uh, fifty two new models. So basically, the model thing, it's uh, each. Update process is quite custom. The payload is quite custom. So uh, for every kind of uh, framework, of update framework or application, we develop a model, a generic model, that it's quite easy to code and easy to implement. The only thing, little detail, to Evergrade do its magic is handling DNS traffic. I know it's not really easy, but in places like DEF CON, it is. Yeah. So, uh, this is not interesting. Well, the attack is quite simple. You have to manipulate the DNS uh, request in the big team. So, um, the idea is to change the, uh, the process update to send the information to ours and send a vector. Depend of the, Im the implementation of the model and the application that you are uh, trying to attack. The, the difference in scenarios to, to attack is, well, you, have, you can, in internal DNS, um, in internal scenarios, you, you can do uh, R spoofing, DNS catch poisoning, you can create a fake um, wireless X point. Um, well, also, imagine how many DSL routers are out there without any kind of password or they're using the default password. So you have 52 reasons to make a little botnet in just, I don't know, a few hours of scanning. Uh, I think most of you, I think most of you know Karma Exploit and Showdown, the search engine. 
it has some prefix so you can find default passwords, uh, routers with default passwords. Metasploit has a lot of ways to help you doing that, and any packet mangling tool will do the trick. Uh, well, the, the, the framework is multi-platform, only the model had to attack the process of data application that you, you are going to, to attack. In, in this new version, the, the different uh, operation, operation system that you have are Apple, Linux, Microsoft, um, some of the models can attack the, the process of data of the applications and the syst uh, operation system. So this is some of the, the models. We have Java, Cpan, Debian, APT, OpenOffice, iTunes, well, this is like a... I think many of those applications are in your computers, at least on mine. That's why I, we investigate those. So we have uh, a lot of models that can be used during the penetration test, and you know, doing slides is quite boring, especially for us, so we are going to do some, men some memos. Not memos, demos. Okay. okay. I will leave. I will leave. So, oh, here. Hi. Okay. Well, we start the framework. Basically, the the framework is a uh, slow uh, web server and DNS because it's written in Perl. Uh, the main idea is not to be really fast, but it, it does its job. Okay. This, as you can see, you can see the loaded models. Uh, we are going to review a few, starting from Windows. Yeah. We we'll start with the last version of Java. So, uh, the ones that raise your hands before that new Evil Grade, uh, you must knew that Java was on the first edition. This edition was uh, after patch by Java, but they do it wrong, and so we are releasing today how to bypass the patch from Java. That's well, we, so we execute the the binary that check the bin, the updates. We can see over here the difference connection that the big thing are sent to our framework. You can see over here the, the normal pop-ups saying, well, I have a, a new update. Every information that you see in that sign, it's on a XML. So basically, you can put whatever you like. And the main idea is to make some fear to the user because he has to click on the wizard, right? Yeah. Had to left. Over here, a uh, listener waiting for a rebel shell. Basically, the 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 this is how we, we bypass it. Java only now accepts binaries signed by Java itself, so we cannot plant a Metasploit payload. But what are we doing is giving a Java binary. It's the web start but we control the arguments. So what he's going to do is give the Java web, up, uh, web start with arguments that downloads a Java shell from the internet. So it's fixing the, this bone, this patch. We, we click install. We see over here we are sending the Java web start, which is signed by Java. So we can bypass the protection. And because we modify the arguments in the execution, we can tell to the Java web start to uh, download uh, um, a shard file from our server. Well, this sign, it's because we are cheap bastards and we didn't pay 35 bucks for the certificate jar. If you're willing to pay, you get, can get rid of that awful message. I don't care. So it, it, it's execute. And now we have a shell on the last version of Java. So uh, it is quite interesting because Java is everywhere. 
this version it only applies to Windows and at least not in other uh, frameworks. And so we are going to do some more. Do you, do you want to see some more demos? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, come on, come on. Woo! A little love. Uh, okay, that's it. Okay. Um, we'll see iTunes, QuickTime, and Safari. All these applications work uh, with an update process it's, uh, in Windows with the same update process. Uh, this process checked that binary had to be signed by by oh, um, sorry, but by them. So we find in I will see I will show it over here. Okay, we run the the application. So all, all of you that have uh, an iPhone and have a Windows platform, I think you you know that little thing over there. <coughs> so it is in Spanish. It's not really. That's why maybe you don't understand the, the thing that says the screen, but it's quite the same yeah. structure. What, what we do here is we inject a um, cross-site script team in over here. So we basically send the, um, we open an um, um, Internet Explorer with a binary and over here is a simple notepad. So, because if uh, we go to the next level of in the, in the implementation, uh, we are fucked because they checking the, the 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 binary that is signed by Apple. So I don't have okay. It's executed, and we have a simple notepad. Let me see. Maybe we can do the Debian. I think many people over here use APT, Ubuntu, or whatever. Okay. Uh, so let's do that. It's it's fun. So the the only thing that uh, many of you I think you are thinking, oh, but Debian use GPG or it signs the packages. So how you, can you do it? So basically, we insert us as a source. So to this. Uh, able to work, you must do an APT upgrade. Most of the people that I know, every time they do an update, they do an upgrade first because they want the last version. So, okay. will we install in the the beam? We see over here the connection. Take a little to disencrypt the package. Let's hope it works. We'll see over here, we add in to the bin uh, our binary. So we have this. As a dependency. So we have this warning, but most of the administration will see, see yes. One of the main problems of the framework, it's yeah, slow sometimes. Especially on presentations, <laughs> they tend to do that. So some serious warnings, but after you know it, stall it. I will have the show. And you have remote root. So for places like this and people who is, oh, I need that tool for breaking into, it can work. It will work. I think it, it works every time. So. Which other application we should see? I, I don't, how, are how much in time? time? Oh, uh, we'll, okay, we have time. Okay, we'll see CPAN. How, how many of here coding in Perl? Why not? So you know, yeah. Let's do the CPAN. Well, I have to kill. Um, well, I had only to do what package I, I wanted to install. Maybe, I don't know. Game Bingo? 
can be. This can work for any model that you install because uh, we intercept when it's requesting and we give gains not working. Bingo. Gains bingo. I'm quite happy because the demos are working and during Black Hat it didn't. But then <laughs> now it's working. Okay. I talked. Well, yeah, I talked. We'll see over here the connection and the, the request. Well, they only check if the, the binary, the, the CRC. The CRC is not signature. So if I control the MD5 signature of the binary, it's, you're doomed. So don't put MD5 like a secure stuff in the packages, please. So again, we have the shell. The root shell. So the good thing about installing stuff as root, because you are demanded, is you get a remote root again. A little love again. Vamos a ver a los argentinos ahí. Okay. The skill. Okay, let me see. Well, we are running Virtual box. Let's check if we have a, a new update. We see over here the connection, and again. Yes, we have an update. Let's do it. <laughs> Why not? You know, I want to feel secure no, at that point. No, somebody's going to hack me, so I should get the last version at least. How many times? Sorry? How many time do you have? Three. Okay, we are going to do it fast. Well, the, we have also... Okay. We'll see over here, if you go to tools and Windows updates, is not the best model, but we redirect, we create a fake update, fake uh, web page, and, and tell to the user to download a file. To download a file. Well, let's do another update over here to. Okay. Since we are running out of time and we have 52, I'm going to do the Mac. We have Windows, we have Linux, let's do some Mac. Mom, I'm TV. It's working. I don't know. This stuff works by itself. It works. <laughs> kind of, right? Okay, it's a little big, so let's do this. So basically, it's running the same framework as he. And for starters, I'm going to do Adium. It's a page in. Most of people use it. I do it. So basically, when you start, if it works, uh, should ask you something. It. You have to start it. I started. So, since it's not calling, I'm going to force it. It checks every 24 hours or every time it starts. So, I'm checking, and it should check or not. I told you demos are damn. Let's check another one while it's working. Well, for example, you have this one. It's a geeky application. It's iStat, so you can see the temperature in everything in your machine, so you can be in control. And here you can see check for updates every 24 hours uh, or on start. So we hit it on updates, and it should ask something or not. Or not. <laughs> I told you. It might fail, it will fail. 
Rasul. Well, so you you shut you, you have shut, to you, trust. you have to trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, during in, in Apple, uh, there is a big framework called Sparkle, and most of the application, open source applications use it. It is an awesome framework. It has every kind of security you would need. So I'm going to open that. So I'm going to tell you what do you need if you're coding a security implementation. If you can get me in the hole, I can try to work all the demos, especially the Iron Bands, because I've been working a lot of them. So I'm, I'm kind of fucked. fucked. Okay. We were going good. <laughs> a big nose, sorry. <laughs> Fucking wine. You should do it in PDF. Yeah. I don't trust PDF. So, well, well, he's searching the right slide. We're going to release it on Monday because we are too drunk to log in into any place during this weekend. We are in Vegas. We travel a lot from the south. Uh, if you ever want to visit Argentina and you need an excuse for your work, we do a conference in Buenos Aires. It's called Eco Party. It's one of the biggest in Latin America. If you're going to go south, come and visit us. It's fun. Now, let's go back to the last. Okay. So, uh, the last approach of secure updates is sign your package. Don't trust your, the automated packages. Do it manually if you can. Don't do updates at DEF CON. People are already doing this. <laughs> so if you do, reinstall when you go home. And remember, CRC is not digital signing. So if you put an MD5 and I can change it, not. We have time to question? No. So we are getting, OK. Q&A on room number five. You can track on Twitter. We are really boring on Twitter. But if you do, follow us. And see you around. Thank you. Claro, vamos a hablar.